Hi, I'm Jeff Jones from Bike Radar, and I'm down in the uh, basement lockup with this time trial bike that I've been building up over the course of several months. What I thought I'd do is just take you through my thought process, if you like, in uh, selecting parts for this bike, because I think a lot of time trialists, they don't buy a complete bike, they like to build it up piece by piece, but you wanna make sure you get the right components. Firstly, uh, there's the frame, which is obviously the key part of any bike. In this case, it's a Boardman Elite Air TT 9.8. This is their top of the range frame set. Uh, it's all carbon. It's quite light for a time trial frame. The forks are elongated and, and narrow for aerodynamics. The brakes here are, are recessed behind the um, front of the fork to get them out of the way of the wind. The Seat post is, is nicely um, flush against the top tube here. The bolts are behind the top tube, so um, again, they're out of the way of the wind. The next part I should talk about is the saddle. This is very important. In this case, you can see I've used a ISM Adamo saddle, and this is um, selected because of comfort more than anything. Uh, it's not a particularly lightweight saddle but it's very comfortable to ride because these two prongs here mean you sit on your sit bones rather than your perineum and that relieves pressure in that rather sensitive area. It took me a good two or three weeks of fiddling with the saddle height, the tilt. I've got this tilted slightly upwards, um, but everyone's going to be different in that regard just to make sure it was properly comfortable and then to get used to riding in a slightly different position. The next part I should talk about is the handlebars. Uh, in this case, these are head Corsair bars. The reason why uh, I've chosen these bars is because they offer a wide range of adjustment and this is very important to get um, your optimal position. Okay, now this is an important part of any bike. In this case, it's a time trial specific crankset. It's the Vision Trimax Carbon time trial crankset. It's a solid chainring here, so the wind will go over it. It's claimed that this will maybe save you a few watts. Last but not least, uh, I'll talk about the wheels that I've chosen for this bike. The front wheel is a Zip 808 uh, tubular. So this is a, an 80 mil wheel, and I found it's good uh, when the conditions are relatively calm. Uh, when it's windy, I'd always go for a shallower wheel because you just want that extra bit of uh, control and uh, stability. The rear wheel here is uh, my trusty fast forward power disc, uh, which is uh, increasingly rare, I think. It's a fairly standard disc wheel. Disc wheels are uh, nearly always faster than, say, a, a deep section wheel on the back. So uh, in pretty much any conditions, a hilly course even. Um, so I, I nearly always ride with this wheel. Uh, it's got the advantage of having a, a power tap hub in the back um, so I can measure my power as, as I'm racing. This is handy while you're riding, but it's also handy afterwards when you're looking at the, how, how well you did in the race. Don't look too closely, but this is probably the worst gluing job I've ever done on a, on a tubular. I glued this on last night and I realized I didn't have any white spirit to uh, wipe away all the excess glue. So there's a lot of it on this um, rim and that will be rectified before I actually race on it.